Oh, you LeBron James fans are going to hate me today, boy. Y'all going to hate my content today. Y'all already to call me a hater. Let it come. And and that Ter Terrell, Terrell, whatever his name is, that clown that comes out here, call me Professor Clump. I say, I, yeah, I, pro I Professor blocked your behind. But I'm just going to tell the truth, man. Like, you know, I'm starting to see a consistent theme throughout his career. Like, the, at first I was kind of blaming Darvin him. I don't even blame Darvin him no more. The reason somebody brought that out, they, somebody left a comment on my page, and I started thinking about it, that LeBron James, he's never ran plays before. Like, he don't run plays. The reason why Max Christie and, 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 and all them guys and Cam Reddish and them all standing around the three-point line begging for the ball because that's the way LeBron James plays. Everybody's standing around the three-point line begging for the ball. LeBron James drives to the basket. Whenever he feels like kicking it out, he kick it out to whatever player he gets. But it's the same four out, one in. It's the same thing. Everybody's standing around, standing around the three-point line, begging and waiting on the ball. You know what I'm saying? They're not doing it. It's, no, it's stagnant. I heard Trevor, Trevor Lane talking about that at Laker, Laker Nation. Look, great guy. Y'all subscribe to Trevor Lane. Do I agree with everything he says? No, but I, but I, I like his content. He's a good dude, a positive guy, school teacher like me, all that good stuff, man. But, you know, everybody just standing around and standing around at the three-point line begging for the basketball. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that is the, the identity of Le, a LeBron James basketball team. This, the Lakers are no different than what he did in Cleveland. Well, Miami, there was, it was a little bit more movement and stuff like that. But uh, before Tyron Lue got there, you know, I mean, it's just, man, LeBron James is disgusting, dude. Like everybody stands around, and then everybody else gets blamed. The, the, Darvin Ham is getting, getting getting blamed for not running plays. But I think about it, he, he probably can't. He probably got plays he want to run. But LeBron James is like overriding everything, going to field, Andy behind his back, saying he ought to let me play starting point guard. I mean, all, all that stuff, man. Like who wants to like coach that? You can't coach when a guy is doing this kind of foolishness. Like how can how can how can I coach a team with a superstar like that? Quote unquote who's a diva, who don't want to run the place, don't want to practice, don't want to do none of that stuff. That's why the Lakers are, I guarantee you the reason the Lakers don't practice is because of LeBron, Ramon, James. Let's just tell you, every team he's been on, it is not just Darwin, they all, they, they don't run plays because either LeBron don't know how to run them or he don't care, he don't want to run them. He wants the ball in his hand and playing hero ball. And it's just, it's this it's, it's, it's consistent thing throughout his career. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. So, I, Darvin Ham might go somewhere else. I kind of hope that brother goes and goes somewhere else where he can actually have a chance to succeed. Because if I really, the best, the Lakers would do him a favor if they fire him. And I hate that, too, because I really wanted him for the future, man. But dude, who wants to, like, coach in an environment with a guy like that, man? You know, I said Kevin Durant was right years ago when he said LeBron James is toxic. All right, y'all. Brandon Love Sports TV. This is your boy, BLS. Y'all please like, comment, subscribe. Help me continue to grow this channel. I'm out.